Good afternoon, dear attendees, we invite your attention to a report on the topic, Ways to Increase the Production Efficiency of Hardwood Blanks. The high cost of raw materials, today exceeds $150 per 1 cubic meter, a significant consumption of wood, in some cases reaches 5 cubic meters per 1 cubic meter of timber, for export purposes, the lack of sales markets, for related products, work pieces of lower quality classes, and a low technological and organizational level of production, have led to the high material consumption, of sawmills specializing, in the manufacture of work pieces sawn from oak wood. The greatest labor and material consumption, is characterized by the technological process of cutting sawn timber into blanks, in which wood losses, can reach 40%. However, it should be borne in mind, that such valuable wood as oak, is not a rapidly renewable resource, the ripeness of industrial oak on average for the forests of Ukraine, is from 90 to 150 years. A prerequisite for the effective use of raw materials, in the technological processes of sawmilling, is the integrated management of the processes of cutting timber and lumber, which allows the enterprise to effectively plan production, reduce the influence of the human factor, on the useful yield and quality of products. For the effective use of wood in the production of blanks, is facilitated by the use of non-destructive methods, for controlling the quality and volume of sawn timber, as incoming raw materials, which will increase the yield of finished products by 10-15%. According to the results of analytical studies, it was found, that the most effective non-destructive methods of control for assessing the quality of sawn timber are, acoustic, radiation and thermal. Moreover, acoustic and radiation, are based on measuring the density of wood, allowing these methods to evaluate the real shape, existing surface and internal imperfections, without destruction of wood but they have a common drawback, high cost and, in most cases, are used to assess the quality of dry sawn timber. Therefore, it is relevant to carry out studies, to finding and identify the main variety forming wood defects in oak lumber, of initial moisture with thermal non-destructive methods of control, as one of the cheaper ones. It is known, that different types of lamps, heat guns, and lasers can be methods of thermal stimulation of the material under study. A common criterion for comparing, various thermal control procedures is the signal-to-noise ratio. It has been determined, that the most effective method of thermal stimulation of oak boards, of initial moisture content, to identify their shortcomings, by the thermal method are heat guns. The method of experimental research, on the identification of wood defects, provided for an expert assessment of the significance of the main varietal wood defects in oak lumber, according to which, the most influential were healthy knots, cracks, and rot. The following, were selected for the experiment, unedged lumber from oak wood, with an average initial moisture content of 40 to 50%, an actual thickness of 30 millimeters and a length of 1.7 meters. Based on the results of studies of the parameters of identification, of the main defects of oak wood with thermal non-destructive methods of control, it was found, that the more effective time interval for fixing thermal radiation, from the point of view of obtaining the best image of wood defects, is 20 seconds at a temperature of thermal stimulation of 80 degrees, and 5 seconds at a temperature of thermal stimulation 250 degrees. The temperature ranges of infrared radiation, of the disadvantages are, for knots minus 16 to 24, rot, 22 to 27, cracks, 24 to 31 degrees. As a result of the experiment, an overlap of the infrared reflection temperature, ranges of the investigated wood deficiencies, was also found, it is possible to eliminate by using RGB filters. The duration of the photothermal imaging process of identifying wood defects, per one running meter of oak lumber, 
of initial moisture content, is established, it is in the range from 19 seconds, for 250 degrees, to 64 seconds, for 80 degrees, with an interval of fixing the board 2 seconds under conditions, that the width of the board, is not more than 350 millimeters. Based on the regression dependencies, of the reflection of the main variety producing defects, a scale for determining the time of thermal stimulation, and the temperature of radiation of wood defects, was constructed in the Statistica Advanced End Quality Control Environment, depending on the change in the temperature parameter of thermal stimulation for, each of the investigated main varietal flaws in oak wood, in sawn timber. Such a scale, makes it possible to select the time of thermal stimulation, depending on its temperature, and to identify one of three disadvantages, under such conditions. To implement the results of research, to determine the useful and high quality output of sawn timber, a program, has been developed for simulating the processes, of cutting logs on sawn timber, and predicting the output of blanks, according to the specification of raw materials and products. In order, to implement the results of research on the identification of defects in oak wood, in lumber of initial moisture content, a method was developed, and proposed for the technological flow of thermal non-destructive detection of defects, which are based, on the use of photo-video thermal imaging of the material, and installation with thermal stimulation of the board. A model has been developed for managing, the method of identifying the main varietal producing defects of wood, in oak sawn timber. The control model, provides for the use of photo filters, RGB, to capture a certain wavelength, of infrared radiation, of the imperfections of lumber, after they have been blown with hot air. Thanks for your attention.